Hi, my name is Antoinette White. My sector is healthcare, and I am from Mexico and the U.S., Mexico City and Texas to be specific, literally 50-50. So the company I'm at right now focuses as a halfway point between clients and their healthcare providers. So my role is, or my title is innovations manager. My department is a transformation department. And we were brought in because the company I work at grew very, very fast. And in this really fast growth process, they had to skip over doing a lot of things right just so that they could get them done which means they create a lot of bottlenecks that need to be fixed but they're still growing very fast and no one can fix it that no one can take time out of their day to do to fix these things so they created a whole new department that goes in and just smooths things out and my role is to make sure things that are being worked on actually get worked on and so i'm kind of i oversee the different projects that we have in place and make sure I'm reaching out to the other departments and just keeping up with what is needed. Let's see, the best is we're a very small team. We all know each other very well. Um, we have fun. It's mostly remote. It's, I, I have a lot of autonomy um, there's a lot of a lot of trust in me and in how I do my job when I do my job time management is key and I've shown that I can handle it well so so being trusted to to be my own governess is amazing worst part that's a hard one I would say it's dual I mean being such a small team is really fun, but then it also means you can see the worst in people very fast when we're stressed and whatnot, just like in any family, right? Um, but so far, I don't really have complaints. I graduated from high school with very little guidance as to what I wanted to do. Everyone around me seemed to know exactly what they wanted, either to be a lawyer or a doctor. They just had it so clear and I did not. But taking a gap year was just out of the question. And so I jumped into psychology because it just felt right, I guess. And I realized I didn't like it, but it was too late to change majors and I finished it. But then I came out thinking, I don't really wanna do this. And my answer to that was to go back to school and get a master's. So I went back to school. I got a master's in international political economy. And I realized that it was lacking a little bit. And so I added on a master's of economics and now I am going to turn those into a PhD in political, public policy and political economy. Clearly, I like to study and I've, I just haven't stopped. <laughs> Research skills. Um, being a student, a graduate student, you're doing research 90% of the time and which has always come kind of naturally to me. I mean, going on the computer and researching subjects that you're interested in is, you know, it's a rabbit hole. And so when I was at school in my graduate program, I applied to be a student worker and they hired me to be a research assistant. And so that is where I actually met my current boss. He was my boss then. And again, it was a lot of, you know, he would give me a project, a task, and I would go off and do it by myself. So he, he learned that I, I was a good researcher, time manager, et cetera, et cetera. So the skills that apply to this job, it's just handling myself and my time and my tasks responsibly. I would say go for it. I mean, I've definitely learned that you don't have to be, 
you don't have to pigeonhole yourself in something. And if you decide you don't like it, you can leave it. it it's definitely been a, a learning process for me. I, I've always been very, um, I, I, I can't think of the word right now, but where you think if you do one thing, you need to do it for the rest of your life kind of thing. And I've had to work really hard to, to understand that that's not the case and that you do learn from anything and everything. And as long as you're doing it to the best of your ability, you're always going to get something from it. And so if you're interested in it, try it. And if it's not for you, just, just take what you learned and, and, and move on. Mm -hmm.